What's up, beautiful people? So today we're talking about my desk setup. So I know today's video is a little different from what we normally do here on this channel, but I find these videos very interesting and helpful um, here on YouTube. So I thought today that I would share with you all my desk setup to show you all some of the things that I use to help out with my productivity and efficiency while editing these videos for YouTube, but then also for client work. So jumping right into it, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the actual desk. So what I use for my desk is a tabletop from Ikea. It was originally blue, but I painted it black to kind of match the theme and aesthetic that I have going on here in the studio. But then also the desk legs are also from Ikea. They are standard, typical desk legs. So yeah, but then as far as for the chair that I use, um, if you guys seen the previous desk setup, um, I since upgraded to the autonomous Ken chair too. It is black on black with the mesh. Is it mesh? I think it was mesh. Is the Ken chair too with the black on black uh, mesh setup? So this was a major upgrade from my previous desk chair. And as you guys know, being an editor, videographer, we're here stuck at the editing station for hours on hours. So having the support for the lower back, but then also for the shoulders and arms is very helpful. So now to the main thing that I'm pretty sure the majority of you want to know about, which is the actual PC build. So if you guys have been here on the channel for some time now, you guys know what it took to actually get this PC built, but then also to actually physically get it in my hands. I'll leave a tab here for that struggle that I went through. But nonetheless, as far as specs goes for the actual PC, this PC, wasn't built by me, it was actually through NTXT. So I was able to customize the parts that I wanted and then have them build it and ship it to me. So I'm rocking an eight core i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD storage. And for my graphics card, I'm rocking the NVIDIA GeForce 2060 Super. And as far as cooling goes, I also have the NZXT Kraken Z63, I think it is. And it has the LCD display. Yeah, if you guys are interested in a custom PC build, check those guys out. This video isn't sponsored by them, but NZXT, if you guys want to do some business, you know, let me know. So now moving on to peripherals. So first thing that you probably notice here on the desk is the actual uh, desk mat that I have here um, on the desk. And this desk mat is from Dixie Mech or Omnitype. Uh, it is the Mecha mat in black. And I've had it for, I wanna say about maybe like six to eight months now. And I really like it. It gives me enough real estate for the mouse and it's very, thick and durable, um, but as you can tell, it's been kind of beat up, it's pretty dirty. A couple food stains and coffee stains, you know, cause we all eat at our desk, which we probably shouldn't, but you know, we're humans. And then moving on from the desk mat to the actual uh, keyboard here. So the keyboard is the Novel Keys NK65. It is a hot swap keyboard um, about a year and a half ago, I started getting into mechanical keyboards um, through Twitch, and I wanted to actually build my own uh, keyboard. So, Nub Keys put this out. It's kind of a beginner entry level to the keyboard hobby. So, I picked it up. I'm rocking uh, Cherry Blacks. They haven't been filmed or lubed. Um, so, zero modifications there. But then, as far as keycaps, these are. I really don't remember what keycaps these are. I'll probably have to find those and look those up for y'all. But again, all links down in the description to every item that we're talking about or that is mentioned today. So yeah, if you're interested about the keyboard, you know, link in the description. 
now to the mouse so the mouse that i use here is the logitech um, mx master 3. the main reason why i got this mouse is because of the ergonomics so again back to being an editor videographer sitting here at the desk for hours on hours just having something that is comfortable in the palm of my hands um, was very important to me just to you know make the work that i'm doing you know as stressful as possible also as comfortable as possible as well so not to mention the ergonomics of the mouse but then also the additional button layout that it has on the mouse and with the software that logitech gives you you're able to customize each button depending on the application that you're using for additional shortcuts um, while editing so i can literally program every button on that mouse for shortcuts in premiere pro or in lightroom so that was like a major plus for me so if you guys looking for a mouse i'll definitely recommend that to you all it's definitely a 10 out of 10. so now to the actual screens here on the desk so i do rock a dual monitor setup i use one monitor for actually when i'm editing and then the other monitor is a gaming monitor that i use to actually you know game but then also for miscellaneous tasks such as checking emails or writing scripts for these youtube videos or you know scripts for clients but anyway so the main go-to monitor is this asus 4k 28 inch monitor it has true 10 bit color so that was a major you know emphasis for me uh, to make sure that when i'm actually color grading uh, while in the editing station that all my colors are true um, to what we see with our eyes but to also make sure that i'm nailing it that accuracy while editing so that way when i actually go to upload there's no you know funkiness going on there and then the second monitor that i have is another asus monitor it is a 27 inch full hd monitor um, the main reason why this one is 1080p and not 4k is because this monitor here runs 165 hertz which is why i got it to help out when gaming when playing you know call of duty warzone or when playing fortnite so yeah those are my two uh, monitors there so now to honorable mentions on the actual disc so of course if you're any videographer photographer storage is very important so we have a number of lacy hard drives over here ranging from two terabyte all the way to five terabyte i think i have like five in total just to have all of the footage backed up from i think i have everything backed up from i want to say like 2018 2019 yeah so for like the last three three, four years, everything is backed up both for myself, but then also for the client as well, just in case if they lose any video, I'm able to, you know, give them a, an additional copy. But then also another honorable mention would be these headphones here. So these are the Astro A40 um, headphones, gaming headphones, but I also use these for uh, editing one they're very comfortable but then also they're uh customizable like you can pop off the ear cushion for these change them out if they wear out over time but then also they're magnetic so don't really have to worry about you know losing them or adjusting them or anything of that sort you know height wise you're able to adjust them so yeah these are definitely a plus but then also I kind of got these in a kit so they came with a mix amp so I'm able to you know adjust the levels properly for what I hear and then lastly of course if you are a photographer or a videographer you need some type of device to help you actually read and write uh, those memory cards to your hard drive so we have two card readers that I use one is a Lexar and then the other is hyperdrive so yeah they both uh use um micro uh sd and then uh, your traditional sd cards but then one that 
Lexar uses CF cars and then the Hyperdrive uses CFAST cars 2.0. So, but then also the Hyperdrive is USB-C for when I'm using the MacBook and then the Lexar is USB for the PC. So yeah, it had, it had to have two additional backups for that. So that'll do it for me today. That is my desk setup. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video, kind of seeing things that I have here on the desk and kind of why I chose it and what I use these items for to help out with my workflow. If you guys did like today's video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, but also make sure to turn on that notification bell to be notified for new uploads, whether it's blogs, tutorials, or journal entries, or whatever the case may be. But until next time, peace.